Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and welcome to the next video in the TBS Tracer series. In the previous episodes, we found out how to update the firmware on the Tracer, how to bind, how to wire the Tracer to the flight controller, as well on how to configure your Tracer module using the OpenTX menus. The short recap of the most important pieces of information will be in this video right after I stop talking, but I still do recommend you to watch the detailed videos because they might contain some of the pretty, to be honest, useful features that you might really appreciate. In today's video, however, we will take a look at the INAV 2.6 and find out on how to configure INAV to be used with the Tracer system for the best possible experience. Before we will go to the flight controller setup for the TBS Tracer, here are the things that you should already have done with your OpenTX radio, Tracer transmitter and the Tracer receiver. A. You have to have the Tracer enabled and configured in the OpenTX. B. You have to have the Tracer receiver wired to the flight controller with ground to ground plus to plus output one here the blue wire to one of the RX pads on the serial port of your choosing and the output to the yellow wire to the TX pad on the flight controller on exactly the same serial port. In this example I'm wiring everything to the serial port 3. One more time, output 1 to the TX pad and the output 2 to the RX pad. On top of that, in the receiver setup in the OpenTX crossfire tools, you have to set output 1 to the function crossfire TX and the output 2 to the function crossfire RX. And finally, the receiver has to be binded to the transmitter, which is indicated by the green light with the solid light on on the receiver and now and now we can go to the flight controller setup the process of configuring INAV for the TBS tracer and the crossfire protocol is super simple all you really have to do is you have to go to the INAV configurator connect to the board and in the ports tab you have to select on which serial port you have the Tracer Nano wired. In our case, this is serial port 3, so let's disable serial RX on UART 2 and enable this only on the serial port 3. Save and reboot. And after the board reboot will be completed, let's go to the receiver tab and in the receiver type let's make sure that you have serial enabled and on the serial receiver provider you have chosen the crsf which is a shortcut from the crossfire but because tracer and crossfire use the same protocol you just have to select the crossfire also leave the serial port inverted at off and serial half duplex at auto you do not have to make any changes over there one more time save and reboot and now let me also power my radio transmitter with the tracer inside i will have to click some buttons and you see without absolutely any problems only by wiring crossfire tx to the rx pad on the serial on the flight controller and the crossfire tracer uh, rx pad to the tx on the flight controller we have tracer enabled configured and ready for some long range flying because yes while tracer is not as long range as the crossfire it still should give you at least a few kilometers or a few miles on the range without absolutely any problems so that's all in today's video thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe right
until the next one. Bye bye.